In this exercise, you'll view how a corridor assembly is assembled at various stations along a baseline alignment. The View Edit Corridor section tools are useful for inspecting how the corridor assemblies interact with other objects in the corridor model. So let's go ahead and view a corridor section. Go ahead and open up your Corridor 4A drawing, which is located in your Tutorials folder. The drawing contains an assembly, as you can see right here a profile view, and a corridor model. Each object is displayed in a separate viewport. The viewport that contains the assembly is now active. We'll start by clicking on the corridor. Then go into the Modify Corridor Sections panel and select Section Editor. On the Section Editor tab, Go ahead and select a station by clicking this drop-down and going to the very first station, 0. You'll see that a cross-section of the corridor at the starting station is displayed. The elevations and offsets are displayed on the grid axes. The cross-section view contains the assembly as well as the other adjacent objects. At the current station, the offset alignments are represented by a vertical green line you can see right here. And the existing surface is represented by the horizontal red line. The vertical red line at the center of the grid represents the assembly baseline. Profile intersections with the baseline are indicated with this little marker right here, this magenta circle. You can use the tools within the section editor tab to view the corridor sections at each corridor station. Go ahead and click forwards. And backwards. You'll notice that as I click, you'll see a line showing where we are currently within our section. In fact, let's highlight this viewport and we'll go into our corridor and you can see this line here as well. So continue to move through the section and you can see both lines move along with each station. 